I thought that nah, you nah, said. I'm on right. You, all right. Hey there, and welcome to Sports Center, along with Stuart Scott. I am Rich Eisen. Coming up on the show, is it Canerco or Canerco? A lot of people would like ask me, does he say booyah at home? Ken Griffey Jr. waiting, waiting. Booyah! Yes, of course he says booyah at home. We did ballet, and he had no issue really yelling booyah. Um, in the middle of the auditorium during our recitals. Way to hustle, let's go, Why keep that heat on. Booyah was 20 times a game, depending on what oh. happened, a good tackle, a good pass, a good run, all of that. Great hustle, Sid Rock! Way to go, three! I don't remember a time that my father did not communicate in a very energetic, unique way. Swoops, there it is! All the fellas, where the party at? Swoops, there it is! If there was something worth doing, he did it 100%. Um, it didn't matter whether or not people disagreed with the way he wanted to go about it. He was committed to a type of vision. Call Konerko butter, because he is on a roll. I think that that confidence and that self-assuredness, that has been really impactful for me to see growing up. Top five, oh yeah! He was just the most singularly authentic person that I had ever met. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my profound honor to present the 2014 Jimmy V Perseverance Award to Stuart Scott. The ESPYs that year was a really, really special experience, especially knowing sort of what he was going through at the time. Taylor and Sydney, I love you guys more than I will ever be able to express. You two are my heartbeat. I am standing on this stage here tonight because of you. I have so much gratitude to fight for seven years, to be around for things, to be around for graduations, to be around for questions, to be around for new experiences. I can't put myself in his shoes, but that's what mattered to him. That's when I felt that we had the most fun, when it was just kind of us all together. There is this love that he had for my sister and I that, that was so, so fundamental, and it was sort of this perfect representation of that. that and he, like, no matter how I was that, was, that was how he needed me in that moment. Sydney, come up here and give Dad a hug, because I need one. I want to say thank you, ESPN. Thank you, ESPYs. Thank all of you. Have a great rest of your night and have a great rest of your life. He was really fun to talk to, had opinions. We, you know, he would let me kind of like push back on some of his ideas in order to really develop a strong sense of individual identity. It was very important to him that we were very independently thinking young people. In all of the things that he did, you know, that touched so many lives, he was also my dad. And the fact that in keeping with those sort of like, these monumental, massive things that he was able to accomplish, the fact that by virtue of, you know, just being his daughter, I'm a part of that legacy as well, is something that is so like, just absolutely incredible.